I wanted to share an updated look with you guys in my Pig and All Mini Sendic roll. So let's get started. I'm Tammy Inman and this is A Peach Life. So last time I shared in my Sendic roll how I had it utilized and so I did not, um, well let me roll that back real quick. I did not show it all nice and rolled up for you guys and it's like a little burrito kind of roll and how um, compact that is and it depends all what you have in it but I want to show you what I have in it at this time and how you can really utilize it differently so in my last video I had it set up slightly different so I want to go ahead and show you in this video and then also in my last video I had two of my the large R2 art tool kit um, folio palettes which is their largest one and how I carry them in here and it was a little bit of a snug fit but I wanted to explain why because it's actually not a snug fit so let's get started I'll show you what's inside at the moment and just the setup so so I'm going to remove this this is actually um, a little sketchbook from Paganol, and I keep that in here. And then um, in my last video, I also shared how I altered this portion. So I took out all the stitching here in the pockets, which it still left all the main stitching because for me, I didn't need to utilize it to hold individual um, pens or markers or such. I wanted to be able to utilize it more as a pocket. So I took that out. So I just removed that. And then in the back, it's holding items. And this is just uh, for my watercolors. And I can just sort of uh, clip that to my, my, um, like my page as I am creating. And then just sort of clean my brush and keep going along in my little watercolor booklet. And then also in the back here, I have, let me turn that so you can see, the two really nice uh, deep pockets. And in this one, I have a little vintage watercolor tin that I had picked up uh, recently. And in here is just my little, I magnet um, the little paints. These are Archer and Olive paints. And this is all four of the sets that they have. And I just put them together so they weren't in each individual little thing. I just put them all in here together. So this holds my Arch and Olive paints. I love that it fits in here nicely. And you can see that it just pops out the top just a little bit. Works perfectly. So we can flip that over. It also fits on the um, inside pocket as well. But then kind of sticks up a little high, just like it shows in the, the back here. So I like organizing it in the back. Okay, so that's what's in here also. And then I have a few other little items in here. This is the pocket size art toolkit palette. And so there's a, a small, a medium, and then this is the large. Okay, and then here, a little water brush. And so let me show you real quick. I, um, I also have some black wing pencils in here. You can see I can fit two in one pocket. And then I have, this is a really thick uh, Caveco sketch pencil. And it fits right nicely in that pocket. I can put it pretty much, I think, in any or all the pockets. This one's like a little bit more of a snugger fit, um, but I like it right over here. So it also holds, um, I noticed some people say they weren't sure if it does hold the Caveco fountain pens, and it does, because uh, they're a little bit thicker, but it holds them very nicely. Also the little pockets and things stretch and have give to it. And as you can see, my sketch pencil is, um, much thicker 
than just a regular Caveco fountain pen. Okay, so I have those in there. I also have some colored pencils back here. These are from a, a set that's at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. And then a couple paint brushes. This is from Beam Paints. This is a Van Gogh one. And then I did want to show you um, also in one of my other videos when I had the two large um, art toolkits, the one was giving me a little bit of trouble going in. And I thought that was odd because they typically give me no trouble no matter which order they go in. But in that last video, I also had this notebook um, in the back. And so that starts to give a little snug fit. So I had a little more trouble, see, pulling this in and out, but it's really uh, nothing to it at all. This goes in quite easily and nice, and once I remove that, these come out even better. We'll slide that in, but as you can see, it really doesn't matter any order you put them in. They go in nice. So now I just remove this first. <laughs> before I start tugging at these, because like I said, they will come in and out. They're just a little more snug than if I just go ahead and remove that guy real quick. And then open up my little sketchbook and create. And I love that I'm really gonna utilize this as a funsy sketchbook, um, not to be too concerned or anything like that with worrying about what it looks like, just trying some new things. So that's what makes this really nice that I have some color pencils. I vary those a little bit. I have a water brush. So um, I have some Micron, um, the little fine tip for sketching. So this is just really a nice little creative bag that I have kind of put together and carry, I got a little water cup for my watercolors from the go, eraser, a little spray spritzer, lots of little things in here, pencil sharpener, a couple travel brushes. Um, that little pocket just holds and then holds some more and then holds some more. Um, and this isn't even as much as can go in there. Much more can go in there. I have in my other video showing uh, it even filled with more goodies. So, uh, and the small, which I think I have one here, the smaller art toolkit palette, which is this one here. It's really cute. And I'll pull that out just so you can kind of see the differences. Those are the three sizes. This is like a credit card size, a little bit larger. But those are the three. But it's really cute. The little guy fits right in there. And I believe the pocket one does also. We can take a look at that. Yeah. And that's with the spray. The little spray in there also. This would fit in there also. It's it's surprising how much fits in this guy and you can just zip it up. And then, like I said, everything, um, as you utilize it, if you feel like something's a little tight, it, it will have some give over time of utilizing it more and more. And you can see that just goes in super nice. Slide that in. This is what I really like to use when I'm in my, um, let me show you. When I have, well, this is not my pocket size one, but say I'm doing one of my little paintings. I have this one and I'll put that in the back. If I don't wanna get something, if I'm like really using a lot of water and I don't wanna get something wet, but it's really wonderful to go like this. Um, I would utilize, you know, whichever side. And then I really like this. So then when I'm painting and I wipe my brush or kind of combo, when I have this all going and then 
I can clip that on and then that kind of gives me hands free of my palette and then I can paint and create. So that's just like another little nice option and say I have my little water there. I would brush that off, get my stuff and then keep going. And that's nice for out and about. And then I just feel like having that little, um, I forget what it is. These are Hobonichi, the little page dividers. Uh, if it gets too wet or anything, I don't have to worry about this getting so wet and then sinking through my page. It's just like a nice little protector. Okay, my little um, notebook is also from Paganol and it's quite lovely and beautiful. I gave a little flip of it before. Let me share with you. My little niece painted this one and gave to me and signed it so I added it um, to here. Okay. So I think the only newest one I have in here is this guy. I feel like maybe this one from last time. Okay. So I love that. It all works perfectly. I'm still sticking with the mini. I'm going strong with my mini one here. Uh, the, the next size up is really lovely. It looks like, you know, it can hold my notebooks and things as well, but I just find that I'm not really sure which notebook I'm taking with me at the time. And so um, I like just being able to roll up all sort of like the tools and supplies in my uh, mini syndic. And then I can just um, grab and go with whatever little uh, notebook, sketchbook, watercolor book, whatever you want to call it, and go. Because I utilize this one too. And so it's nice that I could just grab this. So I don't have to worry about like what's inside here. It could just be filled with lots of supplies. But everyone has that different. And so I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm utilizing mine. I know a lot of times I'll share like, oh, I have this now, I have that now. But this has really been holding in there like strong and true. And I've mentioned before, I really like to have the smallest item, but hold the most stuff for like the most impact. And so this has been it. And I'm not suggesting you do this, but if you do, I did have at one time, I left this stitching in here and it did hold nice and snug my water brush. And I was able to easily grab my little pocket palette out but I find um, I put lots of things. And if I wanna add this one in here, I like that it doesn't fall to go in so much. And then I can add um, this in here and all my different little things. So there's just some little way I wanted to really show you guys because um, an updated version because these really don't get snug in there. And I realized it's because I had the notebook and if I just pull the notebook out first, the notebook goes in really easily with everything in, but this little lip would get caught. But just having it like that. And then easily sliding my notebook in perfection so that I don't have that snug one more time. I just remove that first pull those guys out. So I really wanted you guys to know that because I didn't want you to think like, oh, I would like that, but I don't want that getting stuck. It doesn't happen. These are so like perfection for that. Or if you're just utilizing the one <laughs> and not trimming that like mine, that goes in so nice. And then watch, you can even add both of those in and still add items in here. It is... Uh, impressive the amount of things you can do but again if you didn't take out the stitching like me you would be able to add in uh, different pencils or fountain pens and you just kind of play with it to see how best it works for you but it's just so lovely and I'm proud of myself sticking to the mini although the next size up um, I find myself looking at it and wondering what it would be like to organize 
but really once I set this up, I like that I don't have lots of empty spaces, but where if I pulled like a notebook or something out, I just set this up and I really have all my supplies in here to really utilize. So I like that once I roll it open, it's just filled with all the goodies and then I just take my notebook out and just grabbing these two and throw it in, in my purse or if I bring in like a little bit bigger purse with me or a tote bag, it's just, um, it's just glorious. I love it so much. So that is my little updated look at my Pagan Hall mini Sendic. This is almond and that those pockets work wonderful and you do not have to worry about that. So I hope you enjoyed that update. If there's something particular you would like to see inside here, just let me know. And um, if I have those items, I can put that together and show you how that all works together. And I know it's a lot of times it's kind of fun to see what actually fits or would that work for my products. So I appreciate you guys being here. And if you like this video or any of my other ones, please be sure to like the video. It really helps me out so that um, YouTube will start to share my videos more and others can find them to enjoy. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks. Have a great day.